In this video, we will see 3D vector algebra position vectors. So when I say position vectors, they are represented using I cap, J cap and K cap. So we will see how this representation is made and we will also study or learn about what are these I cap, J cap, K cap, which are unit vectors in a three-dimensional space. So before we proceed, I would encourage you to subscribe the channel because we keep posting uh, new new videos on education almost on a very regular basis. So if you subscribe, that will help you to receive all our uh, videos from time to time. So let's get on with our topic. Before we move on, I want you to visualize a cube on a three-dimensional space. And I'm going to call this cube as a unit cube. When I, what, what do I mean by that? That each side of it is one unit whether you call it the base here this length is one unit this height is one unit this projection is one unit so it's all one unit on all the sides all right and let's place this cube on a three-dimensional space and let it be let let's put the corner of the bottom corner of the cube at origin o o o now i can call this point o o o as zero vector, a vector which has zero magnitude and an arbitrary uh, direction can be called as a zero vector and it is represented as a zero vector. Okay, so our cube is positioned from the origin and the length, each of its length is unit one. So the coordinate here is one. 0, 0, because the length of the x-axis here is 1, whereas on the y-axis, it doesn't have any height here, so it's 0, and doesn't have any projection here, so on the z-axis also it is 0. Similarly, this is this point would be 0, 1, 0, because on the x-axis, it is 0, but on the y-axis, it is 1. So 0, 1 and 0 and here the projection is 1 whereas in x and y axis it is 0. So it is 0, 0, 1, 1. I hope this is clear for you. Now I'm going to call this 0 to this point 1 in the x-axis as a unit vector i. Alright. So this is, I'm calling this as i and I've put a cap on top. I'm going to explain to you what does that mean. So this is a vector with unit 1 and I'm going to call that as i and I'm going to call the next vector which is on the y-axis which is also unit 1 as vector j and I'm going to call this vector on the z-axis which is also unit vector and it's called k right I have put a cap on top of each of them but in vector algebra such unit vectors which starts from the origin is called unit vectors and it's represented with a cap. All right. So in simple terms, the vector I cap is a vector from the point 0, 0, 0, which would be the zero vector here, zero, to the point 1, 0, 0. Okay. Similarly, the K would be from 0, 0, 0, to 0, 0, 1 and it's represented as k cap and our j cap will be from 0, 0, 0 to 0, 1, 0. Now let me make it very clear to you each of them have a magnitude of 1. All right so that's for your understanding. Now further we can redefine i is a unit vector from 0 vector you know from the origin to 1, 0, 0, and j is a unit vector from, you know, uh, origin to 0, 1, 0, and so also is k, k cap. Now, each of them are called position vectors because they start from the origin. Now, let's see how we can identify any point on the plane, on a three-dimensional space and define a position vector to that point, let's say a1, a2, and a1, b2. 
B1 and C1 is a point on the space, on the three-dimensional space. And let's see how we can define this position vector. Okay, now let's consider this point A1, B1, and C1. All right, and this is the position vector. We start from the origin. Okay, now I want you to visualize this vector. Where is this vector actually situated? So when we look at it from, you know, on a three dimension, on a two dimensional uh, screen, it looks as if it's sitting on a two dimensional X, Y axis, but it's not, it's not sitting on this X, Y axis. It's, you know, if you're actually going to say A1 and B1, the A1 and B1 with a zero Z axis, which is on this plane would be somewhere here. So I'm going to illustrate this for you. So see, this is the point which is A1, B1, and 0. When I say A1, B1, 0, this length is A1, this length height is B1, but there is no projection. So it is on a two-dimensional plane, and that's the point, and it's A1, D1, and 0. And our point A1, B1, C1 is projected further up in the z-axis so it's a projection so you can take a minute and try to visualize if you're still not able to visualize let me help you to visualize with this 3d uh, you know picture it's a cuboid so visualize that this vector position vector runs from one corner of the cuboid and runs diagonally to the opposite corner in the cuboid all right so, I'm sure this has helped you to understand. Now, I am going to define this point A1, B1, C1 as a position vector, or in other words, I'm going to you know, call this vector, which runs from zero origin to A1, B1, C1 as a position vector in terms of I, J, and K. So let's recollect, you know, our uh, uh, unit vectors and let's we're gonna pull them from here and we're going to plug them in. So let's see how we can do that. Uh, okay. Now we're going to call this point A1 and we're going to call this point B1 and this point as C1. All right. So if this point is A1, right i can also call this point a1 as a1 i cap i can call it as a1 i cap when i multiply a1 with i cap i cap is somewhere here it's a unit vector it's one unit so that multiplied by a1 would still give me this point here a1 all right and can be a vector which is a1 i cap then i'm going to so let me draw this for you i'm going to do it like this so i'm running this from here to here okay then i'm going to add this to b1 j cap so when i say b1 j cap it's something that runs in this direction okay runs along this line upward so just visualize so we came like this in this direction and sorry in this direction and now we have climbed up the ladder in this direction so we've reached up to from 0 to a1 i cap then we've gone up to b1 j cap now i'm going to project it further into the z axis i'm going to bring it down like this so i'm going to call this as plus C1, K, cap. So can you see how this vector, I can, you know, it starts from zero origin and, you know, and ends at A1, B1, C1, can be, you know, represented as A1, I cap, B1, J cap, plus C1, K cap. So, this is a position vector representation. 
So, in simple terms, given a point A1, B1, C1, you can, you know, uh, write its position vector as A1, I cap plus B1, J cap plus C1, K cap. Thank you for watching Maths Tutorial Anand. Please like and uh, you can comment if you have any questions and do not forget to subscribe to get more videos like this.